All right, what's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production, and please welcome the family. Here we <laughs> are. So we got uh, Brandon Jackson. That's right. Selena Copeland. Jeff Copeland. Back. Yeah, <laughs> I know y'all missed your boy. <laughs> it has been a minute. It's been a year. Yeah, since the oh, two wow. of you yeah. were in a video, and this is going to be Brandon's first, first video. So excited. You know the format, we're going to smell some fragrances. I brought a variety with me on my trip. Um, we're going to discuss some things, we'll learn some things. Love it. Talk about notes, we'll talk about compositions, it'll be fun. And the goal of this, yet again, just give your honest opinions on what it smells like to you, what it reminds you of, anything that comes to mind, let it out. Even if we don't know? Like, if we don't know the terms? Even if you don't know, you just know explain terms? it with what you have. <laughs> And then we'll talk about it. Okay. Cool? Yeah. All right, we're just going to go down the line here. First one up. Uh, this is from a fragrance house called Parfums Vintage. Basically, what they do is they make clones of other popular oh, yeah. fragrances. Um, and they try to actually improve them. That's as much as I'll say about them right now. We can talk more about them later. Uh, but this particular scent is called Emperor. Emperor. So we'll let you smell it first. You gotta like... hmm. What is that? How does that make you feel? Well, okay. It's like kind of like strong on like an alcohol type. Like okay. it's kind of like it's kind it's of smell like alcohol strong. a little bit. Yeah. I want to say it has. Okay. Like I don't know the terms, but That's I feel right. like it's called musk. There's definitely some, feels like there's musk. a lot of musks in there, yeah. for sure. I feel like that's in there. Yeah. And it seems heavy. Yeah, it's pretty uh, thick. Yeah, it's like really heavy. That okay. makes sense. Cool. <laughs> and we can always come back to them later as they dry, because they do change. Oh, As word. they dry, yeah. Oh, wow. This is, this is like a man smell. Okay. I totally. definitely like that. Totally. Like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> no, like I could like picture like a like a strong guy like, cutting wood. And mm. this is awesome. <laughs> I don't do any of that. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, great. Cutting wood. That makes sense. You saw it though, right? I did. I pictured it. Hmm. It's it smells like like the outside mm. in a good way, like a, like a forest. Yeah, it's got a little forest vibe to it. Okay. Mm. Definitely very manly a little sweet mm -hmm. a little sweet but like not too sweet okay does it's, it, it's cool does it smell like anything you've ever smelled before does it smell totally like this is new i've never smelled anything like this oh, i it smells familiar but i honestly have no idea what it smells like okay. i'm sure i've smelled something like it before okay. but let me see that again. it's cool like i think i would wear it okay i think okay i'm not super confident but it, it's not bad it smells like Macy's. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I would yeah. imagine smelling I, that in there. Yeah. I'm not surprised to hear that. I, that we'll I, I was like, I was like I, when I smelled it, um, I remembered something. Mm -hmm. I just remember, I just remember like being somewhere. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know where I was. And mm -hmm. then when you said like, "Where is it?" I was like, "No, oh, I have smelled this You're before. Like, I've been here before." Yeah. 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 Macy's. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So once again, this is called Emperor, and. What Parfums Vintage is trying to clone here is Creed Aventus. All right, now Creed Aventus uh, is. Uh, See, so you guys know. With that. <laughs> I honestly Aventus, like that better. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so Creed Aventus is one of so the most popular niche fragrances in the world the right time. now. Mm. Creed, in, in mm. particular, is a French brand, okay. and they're one of the most mainstream niche brands right now. Super expensive. Aventus, yes. Aventus is their best seller. It has been for, it's been almost, out almost 10 years now. Still a best seller. And it's their best seller. Every dude wants to smell it. This is like the introduction to niche fragrances for almost any guy. Oh, and it's characterized with a lot of pineapple. That's one of the, if you want to smell it again, if you want to look for these notes. A lot of fruity pineapple, mm -hmm. kind of juicy yeah. almost. Yeah, crazy it's, it's very woody. There's, There's the birch wood. wood. See, like That's the forest. Wood. Birch wood in there. <laughs> um, even a little bit of like vanilla is in there mm -hmm. too. And what Parfums Vintage did with this one, with Emperor, if I'm not mistaken, they really boosted the pineapple. pineapple. Yeah. And they that, also boosted the musk notes as, as well. Mm -hmm. So as you said, it's pretty musky. Yeah. And this one, 
it it lasts a long time on the skin oh really mm -hmm. and it has great sillage what that means is the scent trail that it leaves behind you as you walk mm. you'll leave it behind you you'll leave it in a room and people will still smell, smell you after you're you gone. Damn, yeah, what so a statement. Good stuff. And it smells great in the <laughs> air. Yeah. yeah, It smells good here, but I in the like air, when she it was wafting and I was like, that smells good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All right, let's move on. And we can, if there's anything you ever want to come back to, yeah. you can. I, I did smell, after you mentioned the pineapple, then yeah. it's like, it's okay. like, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's not super strong, mm -hmm. uh, but when you smell it, it's like, oh wait, that is, and then it's gone. Oh wait, that is, wait, what? Alrighty. So this next one up is also from a clone house. Now this is the last clone house we're talking about on the list. This is from a fragrance brand called Alexandria Fragrances. They're actually based in LA. And the owner, his name is Hani Hafez. He's from Egypt. And he's been making again clones of really popular designer and niche fragrances. But he also has recently started making his own original compositions, oh, wow. which I really have been excited about because I'm honestly not crazy about clones these days. Mm -hmm. But when they're done in really high quality, like Emperor, I'm like, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I wear them. And this is one of his originals. And this has become one of my favorites. This is called Hafez 1984 Intense. He basically made it for himself. <laughs> he made he made Hafez 1984. That was a really great seller. So now he's come out with an intense version. It's already in the air. I can smell it too. I like wow. this. One. All right. See oh my think. gosh! This <laughs> <laughs> this is Ooh. supposed to be opulent, That's like right. a, a king would wear this. All right. I love the smell. <laughs> That's awesome. I love like. And I'm it's gonna, not. It's not I'm that gonna expensive. I'm gonna spray either. my sheets. Not that expensive. Spray, <laughs> spray the couch. Man. Spray your kids. <laughs> so, so you can see yourself wearing this. Heck yeah. Where, where Bathing you, in this. <laughs> Don't do that. Where do you where do you see yourself wearing a fragrance like this? Sheesh. It. Okay, so I see myself. I definitely wearing a suit. So mm. it's like I'm not. Yes. Yeah. I'm not wearing it. Maybe a wedding. Okay, for maybe sure. Maybe a wedding. Okay. Um, maybe if I broke real. Like I, I don't think I. I don't think I'd wear it to dinner. Okay. Because it's like. It's it's super sweet. Yeah. It's super sweet. Yeah, so yeah. it's like you, it's something you would want to put on after dinner, mm. after you went out and like ate food. Cause like, like eating food and smelling like this doesn't go together. Mm. Like yeah, this is like been eating like savory food, like yeah. steak and stuff, mm -hmm. and then you're smelling dessert. This, yeah. All at the same time. That's a little much. Mm. And if I could, like, if I had to put a color to this mm -hmm. thing, I would say purple. Okay. Like royal. That's yeah. Like, okay. It would be purple. Like, okay, man. This smells like purple. Man, that's mm. cool. I like if that. Purple had a smell. Goodness <laughs> gracious. It's really sweet. Um, it's almost even like spicy. Okay. Like, uh, not like not like hot spice, but like cinnamon or something mm, like that. Okay. That's what I said so, when I first smelled. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I love it. I see the purple. Mm. You see the purple. <laughs> So I always feel like this happens to me, like you guys love something. That's all right. and then I'm I like, know you have very particular taste. I knew what we were getting into. Yeah. So um, just be honest. I would not like to smell this on my husband okay. or myself. It's, so it's not awful. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it almost reminds me of like, um, like, what do you call that? Like the chapstick and they like have these like smells, like it'll be like purple something and you smell the chapstick. Mm -hmm. Like that's like. Like medicine? grape almost like grape chapstick what? or something like diamond tap <laughs> i know you, you guys i know you guys on. are like i know i just i don't i'm disappointed in you. i know i am really disappointed in you selena copeland this hey you smell what you smell that's all right we gotta go you need to get a nose job <laughs> <laughs> get a nose job <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's not awful. It's not. I it's just okay. I, I it, love it's it. The spice of it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like. Man, you guys are picking mm. up on the spice. There is spice. We'll talk about it. It's like a. It's like a. Like a warm mm -hmm. pie. Like a warm dessert. See, I don't like pie or dessert, mm. so that makes sense. So you yeah. don't like warm fruit. That's mm -mm. the problem. You don't. Like, oh, <laughs> you don't. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Or that something. explains mm. it. Mm. I could smell this all day. I could. I, could really just <laughs> I would not get sit here and just. I don't get tired of that smell, man. Like that, the first one I probably like after maybe yeah, an hour yeah, or so. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm cool. This, yeah, it's wonderful. And it's I feel just, like it makes me feel good. Mm. I feel like that smell also is like really, like if you smelled it again, you would remember the first time you smelled mm. it or the, the last mm. time you smelled it. You would yeah, go. It yeah. would take you back. You're like, oh, oh, snap! Yeah. That was. 
it's so equal. inviting. It is. It's like, come on in. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I can smell okay. Let me get this day. one more. I'm gonna just get that for me, and then you have to. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just spray myself. And oh, don't come over. Go to guy. work. I got it on. <laughs> go to work. I got. I got it on. Today. I'll spray it's it in the car. Like, no, it's right? not awful. I'll keep it in just, the car. It, it's not something I would have mm-hmm. picked. It's almost even like soft, like a baby powder or something. Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got <sighs> soft okay. edges. So let one. me tell you what you're smelling. There's oud in here. Let's go. So it, it brings oud. kind of a dark woodiness somewhere in the background. It's really well blended here. Mm. Um, you get it, some leather, which more will come out when leather. it dries down on the skin. You get this literally like a leathery feel, like a texture to the scent. It's hard to describe, but it almost kind of smells like actual leather too. Mm. Uh, a lot of roasted coffee, mm-hmm. vanilla, which can bring that softness to it, and that and it adds to the sweetness. Saffron. Is the spice. Saffron mm. is the spice. It actually comes from a flower, though. Mm. It comes from the stamen. I'm forgetting the name of the flower right now. I'll put it on the screen. But it comes from the stamen of it, and that's where saffron comes from. And it, it can kind of carry a leathery, but also a spicy nuance to mm. it as well. And there's tonka bean, which is basically like a really sweet bean. That's where most of the sweetness is coming from mm. in this fragrance. Um, and it's this sandalwood too, which kind of makes it uh, real soft and creamy and round. Mm-hmm. And this stuff, I don't know, for me, it's really opulent, very regal. Mm-hmm. I find it also very formal. I would put this on in a suit yeah. when I'm trying to like to bring the house down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I love that. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to like try to like not steal that. And something that I guess we haven't been <laughs> yeah, we doing, haven't been rating we haven't been rating these. So how about we do that real quick? Mm-hmm. But we'll come back to the first one later because I don't want to just get off track here. But if you can remember what this smells like when we just smell, what would you rate it out of 10? Eight out of 10 for me. Okay. Yeah, it would be an eight. Solid eight out of 10. Not okay. eight and a half. 8.5. Eight eight All right. <laughs> eight eight five. It's going to go up. Babe. Yeah. Uh, Six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's generous. I thought it was going to be worse. <laughs> About a two. <laughs> here we go. So this next one, this is a designer fragrance. This comes from a designer house called Azaro and they've made a lot of really popular scents. One of the most popular ones in the States has been Azaro Chrome. You go to oh, any dude, I had, I, I, you gave me a sample. Yeah. I really like this yeah. stuff. It's very well, it's aquatic. Very I love. aquatic, very fresh, kind yeah. of has a metallic vibe Remember to it. Remember the little white bottle? Um, one of the most, Maybe the best selling things. designer fragrances in America, for mm. sure. It's been I mean, out for Chrome, I really like years. Chrome. And this comes from the same brand, but this is not in that direction. So. Mm. It's called Wanted by Night is the name of this. I like the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I smell it. Mm. <laughs> it. It is a it is a it's captivating scent. Mm-hmm. So when you smell it, like it's like, oh, what is that? Yeah, it gets yeah, so it makes you make it makes you want to like turn to find where the smell's coming mm. from. So it's attention grabbing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It kind of smells like metal. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Metallic. It's almost, this is probably super weird, no. but <laughs> no, it's weird. Yeah. So like, um, you know, if like, uh, if you, you know, bite your tongue and like you taste blood a little mm, bit, that like iron. that, yeah, that iron type of taste, but you smell it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, and then it's, it is a little nutty. Or interesting. Wood, woody, nutty or woody? Yeah, I get that. I would get one of those. Okay. That's what, but it's a very interesting scent. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's like really calm too. Yeah, like that's the weirdest thing. Like it's not. I don't know. It like now that I think about it, if you were wanted, like this, it would be okay to wear this because mm. it's it's not like it hits you in the face, but it's also just like, what is that? Like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's I do as, like, I do like it because it's not issue. it's not very aggressive. It's mm. more approachable yeah like like if someone walked by and was wearing this like i would just be like what like what is that what Mm. are you wearing but not because it's so strong that it's like whoa it's like Mm. this is this is soothing this is calming yeah okay lavender is there lavender in there there is lavender go ahead there you go yeah Yeah, it's one of the, the top notes i like it wow I know what that means. I don't Jay. like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what that meant. Listen. <laughs> it smells like laundry detergent. 
Wow. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. I would. I'm not, I haven't got my. You got a whole. <laughs> you got a look, hole here. Look, it, oh, it, it does. See, okay. it, I would love my clothes to be washed in this. I would want my clothes to smell like this, but, okay. not, but not me. Okay, I get like, that. There's tons of lavender. This smells like laundry detergent, not oh, cologne. Okay. Okay. When you sm when you smell it again, I did not smell laundry detergent okay. at all. Smell, smell it, it now? again. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> like once he said that, I was like, that's "It the smells smell. like laundry detergent." Which I love laundry detergent. Like yeah, when it's I, great. It's you not know, you just sit there and okay. smell your clothes when they come out. Okay, and oh, again, this you is it up totally. Right? I know. This is in the designer market. Remember we talked oh, about yeah, this earlier. Really. So yeah. you're gonna find these very Super easy. Yeah, these very common aroma chemicals that remind you of other things. Now, what is in this fragrance? Cinnamon is one of the biggest notes here. Really? You can get it. Also, get mandarin it. orange you get at the first blast for just a little bit. It brings a little bit of this zing to it. Also, a little sweetness. Tobacco mm. is in here. And you get that mainly when it dries. When this thing dries on the skin, that's it's when the flames. magic happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. And it has a note. You ever heard of cumin? Yeah. It's yeah, a cool. cooking spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cumin is known to have a bit of like a, a sweaty, almost like B.O., kind of scent to it. It's a very polarizing. Why would note. I want that? Yeah, you've been working with it. When it's used in the right blend, it can, it's, it makes it's it very Because it's almost sexual. like Indian. Yeah. Like cumin almost like when you smell it, it's almost like a, mm -hmm. to me it's like near, it's not like all the way like curry, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's like kind True. of in that area. Yeah. Okay. And this, it's, it's in there when it dries, it, but it's really well blended. This stuff is great. I love it when it opens up, but when it dries, it gets Better. so good. It gets mm -hmm. a little earthy from the tobacco. It gets more leathery as well. It's not so sick, like syrupy sweet as it is right now. Mm. Um, and that's another thing to note. Fragrances smell totally different. When they dry. When they dry, but also when, when they're on your skin. Yeah, versus off paper. Of paper. This is not the most realistic way to experience them. It's the really? best we can do yeah. without spraying ourselves up and mm -hmm. reeking of cologne. Yeah. And the crazy thing is like, it would smell different on everybody exactly. because you have different skin chemistry. Yes, the oils in your skin and things like that. That mix with the cologne. And yeah, so some people you be like, Ooh, don't different, wear that. And different like, notes, good. depending on how complex a scent is, how many notes it has, it has the ability to smell different on everyone. The more that's in there, the more nuance it will have on different people. So certain notes will pop on other people's skin than it will hmm. on someone else. Like this has quite a few notes. So for instance, it's like the cinnamon could come out more in me, whereas like the tobacco could come out more in you and things mm. like that. They mm. could smell different. Wow, okay. that's interesting. Yeah. So off of this, yeah, I'm okay. giving it a, a five and a half. Okay. Wow. I'm sure after everything you described, I'm sure it's great, but yeah. when I smell that's it, all right. it's longitude. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Uh, like a 7.5. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'd give it a seven. A seven, all right. Well, let's move on.